hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen father we thank you for opening our minds to understand your word lord that is this is the most uh, beautiful time that we can have to know you to learn from you as uh, mary at your feet when she was at your feet you uh, you told what is been given to her will never be taken away from her and you decide how much uh, uh, how, how how much mary long to hear you hear your word and learn from you today with the same attitude lord we are at your feet to hear and to learn and to understand to practice your word in our lives lord our prayer is only that you you uh, give us you make use us lord jesus for your glory that the words that we are you are giving into our lives lord let it uh, produce fruits especially during this time when people are uh, suffering from lot of hopelessness lord these words that are touching our lives may produce fruits may go out of our mouth and may, may heal and deliver people from hopelessness and may bring back bring them back to you in jesus name we pray amen so good morning brother once again so we will start your video is not on my video is on yeah now it is on i i come from two two ends you know you have to so i'm going to close one more okay because when i sit no it becomes difficult for me to preach yeah yeah that is uh, fine so now you can so so it is better that i keep walking yeah that is a very good brother so i would like to start off with this uh, question yesterday you mentioned because there was some clarity i think which uh, we probably can have which is on mm. on uh, 18 41 to 41 onwards where elijah what 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 elijah you said about elijah right praying yeah elijah yeah yeah sending his servant and asking seven times whether there is rain coming correct so you, you try correct. connect that uh, with uh, you know our daily prayers if there is a slight improvement you should change the strategy to to yes yes strategy. definitely definitely uh, so can you because because elijah was praying on the promise of god saying when my people repent and come back to me hmm. i will forgive them and once again open the windows of heaven hmm. so it's going to rain hmm. so what, after killing the prophets hmm abal jezebel threatened him that she is going to kill him hmm. elijah runs for his life yeah okay now in the cave there he is sending his servant to go and see whether he can see a cloud because what is he now praying lord your people have repented your hmm. people have seen your glory hmm. they have come to know that you are the true god hmm. okay now when the people repented the god of israel mm. would never keep anger see mm. that is the good news about the word of god is that you know the nature of god is mm. that is is his anger is for a moment mm. but his mercy endures forever wow. see sometimes people keep preaching you know the the god's uh, ancestor curses up to the fourth generation have you heard that yes yes okay now actually speaking god's anger is for a moment means the moment the person repents it's cancelled hmm and for that he is opening the mercy forever hmm so god's mercy is infinite what is mercy mercy is that i have made a mistake i deserve to be punished but god out of his compassion and love says i will not punish you i let you go free mm. i'll forgive you yeah. that's mercy and the bible again and again and again says god's mercy endures forever yes but 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 uh, is the person preaching on mercy or is the person preaching on anger and and, and anger is only for a moment yeah. mercy is forever yeah yeah you you are actually giving a wrong character of the father yeah 
So the cor the father doesn't want to punish you. Yeah. It is the seed that you sowed, which is active, that is bringing curse in your life. God does not does not need to curse you. Mm. It is because you have disobeyed that principle of disobedience has started the curse in your life. Mm. So the moment you repent, the mercy of God brings forgiveness. Mm. And that's when everything will begin to change. Now, your question was, your question was that about Elijah, right? Yes. You see it in the New Testament about Elijah is in James chapter 5. Okay. Let's see the scripture. I don't remember the scripture. Somewhere around 15 or something it will be. So, yeah. Prayer of the faith. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, 15, 15. Uh, start with 14. Start okay. with 14. Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of the faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise them up. And anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being like us and he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and earth yielded its harvest. Now, now, he is starting with a person who is sick among you. Yeah. Let him call the elders. Yes. And the elders will pray over him. Yes. They anoint him with oil. Yes. Now, when the elders come and pray over the sick, what will they pray? They pray at, uh, with thanksgiving for healing him. I think Sharu has given you a good coaching class today and sent you. <laughs> no, no, Sharu has not given me coaching. <laughs> you have given me coaching last three, two, three months now. Praise God. So, so what happens is... Okay, so let me just ask even... this question. Now, so far we've been talking about not using the word prayer, but telling, saying to this sick, Sickness. Uh, now, now, don't, don't, don't go overboard. Okay, uh, I never said that you have to only say and not pray. I did not say that. Uh, In that particular scripture, the Lord said, "Don't pray." He said, "Say." Uh, Some people have jumped on to the conclusion that this brother is teaching you not to pray. Yeah, yeah, that is the clarification. Also, since this topic is okay, okay, okay. See, Jesus prayed the whole night. Yes. What is prayer? Prayer is communicating with the Father and asking the Father for intervention. Mm. Okay, it is it is a it is a communication. Mm. It is a love talk, love relationship. Mm. Okay, now man man by his fallen nature is under the slavery of Satan, mm. so he cannot win. Mm. So God has made a system. Mm. That God cannot intervene inside in, in his life mm. because God has given to man the freedom to choose. Mm. God cannot operate on earth because he has handed over the dominion to man. Yeah. So the only way he can help you is he has made a system by which you can ask him to come and help you. Mm. And that's why it is called as prayer. Mm. So the so Jesus, the whole night is spending 
time with the father, communicating with him, and also taking instructions from the father, the mission that he has to carry on day to day basis. Mm. So there is a time for praying and there's a time for saying. So when you're praying, you're talking to God. Mm. When you're saying, you're talking to Satan. Mm. So when you're praying, it's a loud talk. But when you're saying, you're using the power and authority against the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. Mm. So if a person is only praying and not saying, the devil is going to anyway win the battle because that saying part, God cannot do it for you. You are authorized to do it. And if you don't say it, Satan has got no, no block anyway. He'll come and destroy you. Mm. Are you, are you, did you understand up till here, brother? Yes. So you are saying that uh, there is a, there is a prayer part. There is a saying part and the prayer part is focused on a loud relationship with Jesus. And the saying part is when you uh, talk to the devil. And so, so, so in other words, when Jesus went about doing the ministry, he was proclaiming the kingdom of heaven hmm. by preaching and teaching hmm. and showing the people the truth. Yeah. And at the same time, he was telling them to make the corrections. Hmm. And all those who are oppressed by the devil, Jesus attacked the demonic forces the sickness and disease and set the captives free. Mm. So when it comes to sickness, you don't pray. Mm. When it comes to sickness, you say. When yeah. you, it comes to demon, you don't pray. You speak to the demon. Okay, so what about uh, to get a job or want to pass an exam? How, how, how do yeah, they... Yeah, 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 yeah. What about job? You don't have to say. You have to talk to the spirit of unemployment. Don't you mess with me. Oh, no. You have to talk to the spirit of joblessness. You know, some people, brother, no matter how much they, they, they are very, very efficient. But a spirit has blocked them from getting a job for years. But the moment they understand the system and they start opening their mouth and start speaking, after that they get jobs, good jobs. Who told you that you don't have to say to the spirit no. of joblessness? No, I'm just asking again for clarity. A lot of people have got this doubt. So again, I'm asking for some specific instances. For example, if uh, somebody is wanting to, uh, you know, look out for a change in the job or maybe writing an exam, you know, so all those day-to-day hmm. uh, -day activities. Hello, hello, you... hello brother, brother. Hmm. First thing is, you know, even if a person is looking for a job, even if a person is writing for an exam, the first thing he must ask, Lord, is this where you want me to go? He will get a job. Hmm. He'll get a job, he'll prosper and everything. But the ultimate question is, after you lived your 60 or 70 or 80 years, did you finish God's assignment or did you finish your assignment? Yeah. What, what, what is the reason why you're a Christian? Right. To, to fulfill your assignment and your desire, you have failed the whole thing. Correct. So, so our, I, life as, I, our life as a Christian is, brother, to discover what is God's calling for our life. I'll, I'll give you an example. When I did my business, when my business began to flourish and God called me that night hmm. and, he, and there was a conflict going on, I had a very, very big order, okay, which the desire was that I don't like to ask money from people. Mm. Okay. I am a person who will work hard and earn. Mm. And my desire was that I can keep my business running and mm. what will come from the business, I can use it for the ministry. Mm. That was the intention of my business. Mm. But when God told me that I don't want you to put in the money from your business, because the day you build something, you will say it is mine. Mm. So I want you to close down because now you will be working under two masters. Mm. So then the, the business demand will be there and you will not be able to give 100% attention. So 
I had to quit my business. Mm. Okay. So on that day, when I'm quitting my business and I'm shutting down everything, it would be looking absolutely foolish. Mm. I'll give you another example. You know David, no? Uh, yeah. Bangalore David. Uh, it's okay. Uh, uh. So when he wanted to make a major decision, he came to Goa for the retreat. Mm. Because his decision was, I am flourishing in my IT company. Mm. I'm getting promotion after promotion. Mm. I'm doing very well. Mm. But is this what God wants me to do? Or God wants me to go after him on a different purpose? And after spending the retreat so there, and he got his answer, and he said, Brother, I've got my answer. I'm going back home. I'm resigning from my job. And I'm getting into full time to serve the poor. Mm. Now, on that day, it looked like this man has got such good future. Mm. Promotion is on the line and he wants to quit his job. Mm. But today, when you see what he has been doing among the villages and reaching out to the people, he's saying, brother, I've never experienced life like this. Mm. And that's the time he began to tell me, now I understand why, why you are not taking a holiday why you are running like this, like a madman? Because the day you taste your assignment and that assignment gives you that joy and that peace, mm. it can nothing in this world can give you. Mm. So before a person asks for something, he wants to go in a direction, shouldn't he first confirm with the Lord that does he want you, does God want him to go and do business or God wants him to join his business? Mm. Huh? yeah so that is fine so we'll... so in this last 24 years of my life if i if somebody has to ask me you quit your business and you got into full-time business how many people do you think you have affected in millions if one person can touch so many people what about others who are discovering the assignment and going in that direction and the best part is when I began to seek God and move in that direction without love offering, donation or collection, all our needs have been taken care of. Yeah, so I have, can I share another different view? Yeah. I'm not saying that your view is... Okay, okay, okay. My, so there is another view is also this, that which, you know, everybody, uh, you know, cannot be full-time, you know, as you are or, you know, somebody else are. Instead of which, wherever, whichever place you are in, whatever profession you are in, you try to live a better, be a better Christian. Absolutely, absolutely, share, correct, correct. Share the gospel. Correct. So in that, correct. yeah. So in that more, in that uh, you know, a season of a person's life, there are the requirements are not the same as probably what you have, which means you need to take decisions. You need to, you know, look at uh, you know multiple things. See, for example, in my case. I, uh, uh, you know, I just cannot at this point in time go full out and, uh, you know, with my five children and uh, my wife. And so I probably uh, have to look at, wait for God's season, uh, which I'm, I'm hundred percent open to the, open to that. At any time, God tells me that you go full out uh, into the, you know, ministry. I am absolutely, maybe that is what Lord is training me. Uh, uh, so I am going to do that. But till that season comes in, in a person's life. So how uh, how do we balance this out? When I say balance it, okay. okay. You... What, what happened with me is what happened with me is I was doing my business, but at the same time I was taking uh, using my time to help people by proclaiming the word of God. So what started in a small way began to grow in a big way. Mm. So it went about for nine years. But in that nine years, there came a time where the demand for preaching every day on one side and the demand for business on the other side began to become equal. Mm. Both were in demand. And that is the time the Lord asked me, which one do you want to follow? Now, if I shut down my running business, what will be the source of income? And the Lord said, 
if I could bring you out of the pit, can't I take you care of you? And I said, okay, I'm willing to shut down everything and follow you. Mm. And if you ask me, which was the best moment of your life? The day I shut down my business. Mm. You know, I agree to that, brother. See, we are not uh, reached that stage. I'm talking about we are pre- but, but I told you, you know, nine years, in that nine years, ah. he trained me from part-time to half-time, half-time to three-fourth time to full-time. So how did you, man? That is exactly my point. So how are you connecting this Elijah case study to our daily uh, life? So yesterday you mentioned... Elijah case, I'm connecting, brother, because Elijah prayed on the promise of God to bring repentance in the people, in the nation. It's not about the rain. It is about bringing the people out of darkness, out of worshipping Baal mm. to mm. worshipping the true God. Mm. And to so, get them into their senses, he began to pray that, Lord, you said, when people go after the false God, I will shut down the heavens for you. Mm. No, I I will, I, so he used the promise of God mm. to shut down rain. And, and he used the promise of God to, open to bring step. rain. So yeah. in the same way, when I'm praying on anything, I must first check on the word of God and use the word of God as a as a tool to make my prom to to use the promises of God to build up my relationship with God. Hmm. No, so uh, I am trying to be a little more narrow here. I'm just uh, okay. filtering it down to that point which you said yesterday. Okay. If there is any slight improvement you see in a person's... Right now we are in the COVID situation, right? So if you see any slight improvement in that person's life, immediately you shift to the Elijah strategy. So, and then you also said you... Elijah sent uh, his servant seven times to see if their clouds are coming, rain is coming. So that is where I wanted to get that connection. No, because... no, no. When he, when he sent the servant to see, he is exercising his faith and seven times there is no, no, no cloud. But the seventh time he says the cloud is as small as a hand, palm of a hand. Yes, yes. And that's the time he looks at that small thing and he prophesies and he says it's going to rain. The oh. moment he said it's going to rain, mm. after that it started raining. So my question is, Am I a person who is prophesying my faith mm. or am I a person who is prophesying my facts? Mm. Mm. So, so if, if, you are prophesying, if you are prophesying facts, you will never reach God's destination. Correct. Correct. So this is what I wanted to get the clarity. So and, 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 and secondly, brother, yeah. that what you said is the training to go into full time is the best place is in your workplace because that's where the pressure is to the peak. Yes. And that's where you have to practice Romans chapter 8 mm. uh, verse number 29 and 20, uh, 29 and 30. Yeah, the camera went off. Went to the Romans chapter 8. My camera went off because somebody is trying to join the YouTube Oh. Till, till he, he, he turns that off, it won't go. It will come. Don't worry. Okay, Romans. Somebody, what? somebody is putting live streaming. Okay. So we have got the same same uh, link, no? Yeah. So it's, it's asking permission. So if I say yes, then it will go from my my device. Okay. He has to click, but he has not yet clicked. Okay. I'm waiting for him to click. Yeah. What is that verse? Yeah. Romans what? Romans eight. Yeah. 29 and 30. 30, okay. What is God's purpose in my life? Hmm. What is God's will for my life? That is verse 29 and 30. Okay. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be confirmed, confirmed to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn within a large family. You go slow, brother. You are you 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 went it in such a way. I did not understand what you read. It's okay, I will go slow. For for those whom he foreknew, hmm. he also predestined to be conformed 
to the image of his son so what is why why do you think every day are so many battles because uh, we are you know god has called, called you maybe for the for the, to be part of the large family no 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 you read uh, correctly you read the... correctly and i'll ask you the same question then you'll be able to give me the answer read it again for those whom he for new that is you and me mm. okay he also predestined to be Correct. conformed to the image of his son so what is god's main desire to put make us to his image his image of his so, son yeah so every day battles are for what yeah to make us uh, to his image so so now my question is in god's kingdom is god interested in you achieving something or is he interested in your attitude attitude in the world they will ask you what did you achieve in yeah. the kingdom of heaven achievement has got nothing to do hmm. right god always looks at the heart so somebody went and did something but in his heart he wanted to do good hmm. and it failed miserably mm. okay in the eyes of the world he is become a failure mm. in the eyes of god did, did was god pleased with his action mm. are you with me yes yes in the yes what what <laughs> you are double minded brother no no, no that's, why, that's why i want to see your video when i see your video i can see i see right inside your eyes what is running inside you i was just thinking about what you said <laughs> you said in the eyes of the world he failed right yes yeah in the eyes of god he did not he, he see not. brother 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 the day you understand this no you live a worry free life correct i'll tell you if you look at the bible when Samuel came to Jesse's house to anoint his son as a king. Jesse had already rejected David, and he did not even invite him for that ceremony. And David, a shepherd boy, was looking after the sheep, and Samuel himself got deceived mm. because he saw one after another all the sons are like he man man. They are they are fit to be a king, mm. and God said, "I have rejected them all." Hmm. so with their talents with their skills with their with their intelligence with their smartness they were all qualified hmm. but with their heart condition they were all disqualified what about david david was qualified so it's in not. your life and in my life is god looking at your heart condition or is he looking at your action heart condition so praise god heart condition is not depending on somebody else it's depending on you achievement is always depending on somebody else yes so are you under pressure no I'm hello under... because if your heart condition is right it doesn't matter what the result came yeah so somebody's action can be right but not necessarily the motive was right hmm and somebody's motive can be right but the result went wrong hmm so every moment god is looking for what uh, heart heart condition it is god hmm that's why jesus was preaching on be attitudes hmm he did not preach on achievements he was teaching on the attitudes and if your attitudes are right in the eyes of god you are excellent hmm so in your office when you are working over there it is not how much profit you made and how much promotion you got and how much cars you got and how much bungalows you got that your prosperity is counted or your spirituality is counted on that basis it is all counted on the basis of your attitude mm. now now for example mother teresa Mm. was she counted based on how many properties she owned 
or the attitude attitude but by the time she left how many properties she had properties how, how many branches she had brother around the I, world yeah around the world i don't i don't know but yeah but but was she interested in those properties or was she interested in the attitude attitude so what about the congregation whom she's training the other nuns who are with her was she interested in their service or was she interested in the attitude attitude so god is interested in doing what turning see, face see brother brother you could have preached you could have preached to 1000 2000 people hmm. but your attitude was a boasting and pride hmm. in the eyes of god you got disqualified hmm. and 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 a, and a very simple man came not much educated and he came and spoke but his attitude was right hmm. yeah so when you are in your office working there is a beautiful opportunity for you to practice and develop your what attitude yeah and that what you're developing will help you when you are going into full time hmm. nothing goes waste yeah okay yes is it making sense now yes it is so i was talking about the when the sick come home when the elders come home and pray for the sick what prayer are they going to pray the bible says the prayer of faith Hmm. Not the prayer of hope. Not the prayer of hope. Mm -hmm. The prayer of faith. Okay. And that's when those people will be healed. Hmm. So the Bible is saying, the prayer that comes from the heart. Hmm. is powerful and effective the prayer of the righteous man is powerful and effective now are you righteous by faith are you with me jos yes yes i am i am listening yes so are you righteous by faith in christ jesus yes 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 so are you qualified by god yes are you made worthy by god yes so now god is saying is your prayer going to be effective and powerful yes so do you need to worry no so do you need to open your mouth and speak the promises of god yes will it effect will it be effective yes when you know you're qualified by god and you are opening your mouth and speaking god's word and you are releasing your faith you are already um, already thanking god that your prayers are answered yeah so is the elijah example going to help you in your everyday life 100% yes look at jessy she is excited she wants to uh, let let the dam open because the dam is locked just just give her unmute brother because she is she is bubbling i know only the mouth has to open i have yeah. yes brother uh, i think all of us are worthy when we trust in jesus and when we are we are filled with the love of the father we can pray for anybody and believe i can tell you one example there was somebody a hindu lady she did not know i was praying for her i just knew and uh, she didn't have children and as i was lifting her up in the bless during the adoration and praying i could see her standing with a baby she had done many treatments so i didn't know her number took the number from somebody called her up she is a professor in a dental college i said jesus is going to bless you with a baby and uh, i said you thank jesus for this blessing and she conceives brother it is not my prayer but god was merciful and she calls up and every time i can talk about christ to her that is number one last week somebody is on the ventilator and everybody is praying brother and as i was praying for this brother i'm seeing him coming out of the tomb like lazarus 
So I send that message, John 11, 40. If you would believe, you would see the glory of God in a group where we pray. And I said, we believe in faith and we believe he's been healed. And from that, from that morning onwards, he, there is recovery. And I believe that is the mercy of God. Now, what, what, what method is she using, brother? Just, she's using a system from the kingdom of God. Can you tell me what is she using? She is declaring the word of God, a uh, word of healing. She is believing and pro pro proclaiming the healing. You have done. You, you have done the whole course of it. Come on, calling things that be not as though they were. Yeah, yeah. unseen. Yeah. So I did not use that word uh, exactly as that word, but yes. So so so, so 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 she is not only calling. The confidence that she is believing in it is extremely high. So by the time she plants that seed into the heart of that lady who is longing for a baby, she has given her a seed. Mm. And now when she has given her a seed and she is backing up with a faith, that's how the kingdom of God operates. Mm. The words out of my mouth have got power to go and create things. But the question is, do I believe it? Brother Josh, do I yes. believe it? Yes. So if I believe yes. it, then will I be pleading or will I be proclaiming? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Jesse. One Preach. more thing, Come brother. On. One more hmm. thing, brother was asking this question, what do I do? There was a time in our life when we were having real financial issues and I was thinking, what will I do? Marketing, no, I cannot sell, I cannot do, but I'm good at cooking. I said, what will I do? Then it was Christmas time, my daughter's wedding and so many things. So I thought I will make Christmas cake. So with all the work, I baked about 100 kgs of Christmas cake. I don't know how to sell how many, it. How many? 100 how many? kilos. 100. Okay, brother. And uh, then a brother came. And what? how to sell, what to buy and all, I didn't know. But I did put my heart and soul. They all sold. I had that money for that extra bit for whatever had to happen. Second year, things were better. I made 250 kilos. Third year, 300 kilos. Everything sold. It was very good. My husband said, you have to go big. You have to start like a bakery. I said, Lord, I have to ask Jesus. Do I need this money or what I should do? And Lord kept on telling me that is not your ministry. You spend your time in prayer. Pray for others. Come to know more of me. So I told my husband, I am not doing this. Lord has told me, I, you shouldn't do it. I will not. There was lots of opposition, brother. They would have thought I'm lazy or whatever. It did not bother me. I said, no. I took confirmation again from a priest. He said, no, you're not called for this. And one thing that has happened is because my head would be how to make it, how to make money, what to do with this money. Lord said, no, that is not where you should be. And he has led me, brother, for that. Thank Jesus. What do you say? Was she after the spirit of mammon or was she after Jesus? Yes, Jesus. Jesus. But is, is there a chance for people to get after the spirit of mammon when you are able to sell 300? Yes. So actually speaking, when you go after the kingdom, how much money do you need? Sometimes I wonder, I don't have any expenses, brother. Hmm. That is very good. Brother. And after after uh, starting the Zoom, no, I only, only one shirt I need. Pant also, if it is half pant, nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'm in a lungi. So when I went to pick up something, they said, Oh, you wear lungi at home. I said, How do you know? No, you went at a distance and you came back. We saw you in a lungi. <laughs> so what difference it makes? Yeah, doesn't make any difference. <laughs> so, so if we understand the applications right, mm. then in the kingdom of heaven, there's only fullness of joy. Mm. You know, yesterday Sharu came and preached. No, I'm still, I'm still going round and round in my head the way she preached. I, I, I if somebody asked me how was the class, I said of all the classes, yesterday was the best, top of the top. Not because I'm I'm just uh, uh, telling, but the way she preached was 
amazing. It's Holy Spirit led. Yes. And she did it in two months. Praise God. Yeah. So, so this is what is needed, brother, in our everyday life. That we learn to use faith practically. You know, what I want to do is, I want to take a series on, on, on topic on faith. This is my favorite topic. Series on faith. What is faith? Where do you get faith? Where do you store faith? What are the different kinds of faith? It, will, it can go on for six months. Hmm. But that will make a big impact in people's life. Hmm. Everybody will become giants in faith. Because faith, faith pays your bills. Faith keeps your marriage good. Faith keeps you healthy. Faith connects you to God. Everything you see, anything you see, it is all connected with faith. Okay. Hmm. Praise God. Praise God. So like that it is, brother. Okay. And and in my and the first thing that I started studying in my life was faith. Hmm. Because what I learned was uh, you know, when when I had lost everything and everything, that time people came and told me and they prayed with me and they said, Have faith in God. Hmm. So I was wondering, have faith in God, what is this faith? Hmm. But nobody was ready to tell me what is this faith all about. Mm. And what I was believing was faith was a total, total lying faith, fake faith. It was a sense knowledge faith and I was believing it was faith and, and nothing was happening. Mm. Till I had to differentiate between the Bible faith and the sense knowledge faith. Mm. And after that, my journey began. And after that, the journey has never had a, uh, a, 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 a it was so, it is so beautiful that it is getting more and more beautiful each and every day. Mm. So when you are operating on faith day and night, you become so much God conscious that you have no time for sin. Mm. Because you are, your, your mind is all the time loaded with God's, God's word, God's promises, God's ways, and you are enjoying it every moment. Yeah. So is that clear about Elijah? Yes, yes, it is. Because, because before you even start praying, no brother, mm. you must take that scripture that, you know, Jesus was made to be sin for my sake, so that through him I am made the righteousness of God. Mm. So the moment you are made the righteousness of God by faith, you have a right standing before God, you have access to the throne room of God, you have the nature of God, and now when you open your mouth and speak the promises of God, the Bible says, such person's prayer is powerful and effective. Mm. So when you know the tools that you're carrying every day in your life, praise God, mm. your life is supernatural. Mm. So now you're no longer uh, in a begging, begging mode, you're in a believing mode. Mm. Yes. So, yeah. What happened today? You are, you, you are only, yeah, yes. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. It's today it's already six thirty. You have Friday is six thirty, right? For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll leave, brother. But can yeah. we start on the topic of faith? So this is over. The confession thing is over. The confession we have thought so much, brother. I, I, you want still more confession? No, no. We can start on faith. It's not a problem. We can because, start. Because see, 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 see. What I meant is confession is no, no, unless a person I... understands. Mm. Unless a person understands. Mm. If he doesn't take a U-turn, mm. he's going to go still more deeper and deeper in the pit. Mm. So it is not by force that you go for confession. Mm. You are longing to go for confession because you are longing to get your relationship right with God. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a big difference between a person being forced to go for confession 
and a person who is saying by going how the father who loves me is going to restore all these things to me yeah. so if we start on faith no we can we can study it like a notebook with like a textbook on different um, kinds of faith and you know it will be a big big revival yeah yeah we can do that brother huh yes we can do that praise god praise god and 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 then you because at the moment with all this covid and all happening no we need to uh, teach people the principles of faith where they can see the supernatural manifestation of god's glory because every one of us are anointed every one of us are baptized everyone has power stored inside but doesn't know how to release that power into action mm. yeah what do you say yes yes I, you know you know for yesterday when uh, sharu came and shared no mm. I, i i you don't know i i was i was jumping and jumping and saying i never whistled in my house here in my house i'll whistle not here i could not control myself why because if this one student can understand mm. okay and that too you are giving in small small bits so if i if you teach in systematic word about faith mm. okay what an impact it will be yeah and and every evening you can bring people who are sick okay and what we are learning the closing prayer will be with healings of all these people yeah it will be a theory class and a practical class yes what do you say yeah yeah that is good brother so everybody will be because too long we have been sitting as infants drinking milk yeah. now it's time to eat meat yeah because yesterday she came and shook me also yeah congratulations sharu okay, okay. will we leave today friday any of i come only to because that time span is less yes so we will close brother so those, those, who, those who want to follow us okay we are learning on abraham and isaac sacrifice and how it is connected with the father and jesus okay and how by step by step how abraham was ready to say yes to god yes So if anybody wants to join you are welcome and even if you don't join it is there on the youtube you can definitely get tomorrow whenever you want okay brother say the closing prayer let okay, me go brother, we thank you for this uh, evening thank you for uh, teaching us and uh, cementing the truth in our hearts thank you for uh, especially the, the the way you are prophet elijah conversed with you and how he built how he pleaded on behalf of israel your children and today lord as we go back we take this lesson lord jesus and that and we stand in proxy for all the people and uh, would be would be you exercising what you have taught us in our life and bringing people towards you delivering them from the bondages through your word and healing them healing the sickness by your word in jesus name we pray amen Amen, amen. Thank you, brothers. Thank you. So see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye. God bless. Bye. God bless you.